Today I want to reveal to you the image of the Antichrist. What will he look like? Um, I believe I'm going to get pretty close to what he will look like. Um, there have been a lot of different movies over the years and they have these different pictures and things. I'll put them up on the screen here of, of uh, you know, what this Antichrist guy will look like. And um, quite frankly, they're all a bunch of nonsense. Um, I don't believe any of those are the actual image of the Antichrist. But there has been an image that has floated around, not recently, uh, not in the last couple of hundred years, but actually probably a thousand years or so. I'm not even sure when it goes back to. There are different theories on that. And I'm going to put that image up right now. Right there you go. I believe that this is the Antichrist. Um, you say, oh, that, that's Jesus Christ. Really? Can you prove that? Can you show me anywhere in Scripture where this guy... Uh, you know, or, or, or where Jesus, I'll say it that way, where did Jesus ever pose for a painting? Where did Jesus ever say, hey, you know what, I, you know, just let me kind of look out, paint my picture here quickly, I, make sure that this is kind of preserved for posterity's sake. Um, it's not there. And you say, well, this is, a, this is some kind of new thing, and Denlinger just came up with some kind of a new doctrine or whatever else. Uh, well, I have here um, page 120, of this book. The greatest lover, artist, poet, musician, genius, pope, and scientist of all time, His Majesty the Devil. Right there. And this is the Mark of the Beast by Peter Ruckman, Dr. Peter Sturgis Ruckman. And uh, whatever issues you might have with Ruckman, I think he was right on the money with a lot of what he taught, and I'm thankful for what he's taught. I learned a lot from the guy. It doesn't mean I have to agree with him in everything. It doesn't mean you have to agree with me in everything. I certainly hope that you don't uh, agree with me in everything. But this book was written in 1960. Copyright 1960. So here you have this guy, before I was even born, drawing a picture of this Jesus guy and saying, I think that that's what the Antichrist is going to look like. I agree. And I've been studying now for many years myself and um, preaching the word and back and forth with all kinds of different people and, and things online, offline, the whole thing. And you know what? I still have no reason to doubt exactly what he said in that book. You say, but what about the Bible? Let's go to the Bible. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1, a prophecy about Jesus Christ, about the Messiah that would be coming. And the Jews got, you know, of today they make some kind of wacko thing that this is about the nation of Israel. You know, no, it's about a man. Let's read this. Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Uh, the arm of the Lord is a reference to Jesus Christ. That's why he stands at his right hand, the right hand of the Father there. Did a whole study on that. You can get into that in that study. Verse 2. <clears throat> For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Um, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Uh, that guy that you see in the paintings, he's a pretty good looking guy. You see these drawings of Jesus, you know, and a uh, real handsome guy, long, flowing, beautiful hair, you know, and everything. Uh, that's not Jesus. That's the Antichrist. I firmly believe it. He sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Uh, this guy shows up. This Jesus, Jesus guy shows up. People are going to fall down and worship him without even questioning. I remember I did a, the whole thing kicking this uh demented Russian Antichrist, Vissarion, years ago. And uh, I remember the one guy, is in one of my funny comments videos, this one guy, he says, well, he says, he, he looks like the dude, so he must be him. Looks like Jesus, so it must be him. See, that's the, men, the mindset that people have. What do the scriptures say? Oh, whatever, I don't care what the scriptures say. Uh, I, he looks like the guy in the painting. So that's what the Antichrist is going to look like. I 100% believe it. 
Do not be deceived by the images of the Roman Catholic Church. Um, they're the ones that brought this whole thing out. And again, you get into the thing of one of the sons and whatever, and he was painted, and a, you know they made a painting of him, and then they've been painting that ever since. And it, yeah, but the whole point is, you just look up most of these paintings and things, it goes back to Roman Catholicism. And that's why I don't think Christians should be painting that same image. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a contradiction there. So, uh, but that is going to be it. Hopefully I've given you some things to think about. Uh, don't have images of this Jesus guy in your home. Um, we don't know what Jesus looked like. The Bible never gives any kind of uh, hint as to his actual facial features and whatever. It's just that he's, you know, there's no beauty in him. He wasn't a good looking guy. It's just like the Lord to do that kind of a thing. Um, he died to save sinners. So, Jesus was not a popular man. I hate to burst your bubble if you think he was. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.